It is still the biggest entertainment show on the planet. I'm still your host for the most fair Oluwa or Shunke. Of course, serving you the sauce. And speaking about sauce today, I'm not just serving you sauce, I'm serving you with rice. Are you ready for this one? Because our guest is one of the um, box office's highest grossing females actors of Africa. She has starred in movies that have gone on to become massive box office hits in theaters and global platforms, including the record-breaking King of Boys, the critically acclaimed Netflix original King of Boys, Return of the King, and the series adaptation of best-selling book Smack Money, Woman, um, Women's Among Others. Amongst others, she is critically acclaimed actress known for her versatility, passion, and dedication and of course our uh, chameleon like abilities to adapt to a wide range of characters with flaw um with flaws execution she's able flawless execution i mean she's able to speak multiple languages yoruba pidgin and english as well as speak with multiple accents she's also a cover girl influencer brand brand ambassador style icon and red carpet darling she's also an award-winning photographer and musician let us welcome the one and only the impeccable the beautiful of course queen of voice tony <laughs> Hey. Welcome. Hey, that, How you was, do that was quite the intro. Yes, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you. How are you doing, man? I'm great. How are you? All right, so you stepped into the room, right? So your personality on screen, because you have this captivating ability, mm. right, mm. when you're doing your thing. And then in person as well, you have it. How, how, how do you do it? Is this something you learned, or is just, you know, you just being your flawless self? <laughs> I don't know that you learn your personality. I think it just sort of is. I'm not even sure that I know what you're talking about, but it sounds good, so thanks. No, I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> so thank you. How do you manage to shuffle between being an actor, an artist, a fashion icon, an entrepreneur, a photographer, and the fashion icon that you are? How do you manage to shuffle between everything? Um, I don't know. I, I. Don't get a lot of sleep. And I fitness think. too. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I'm exhausted at the moment. I haven't slept since yesterday. Yeah. Um, you just try to find a balance. I think. I think you know when you when you're doing what you love to do, mm. you kind of have to make it. Um, you kind of have to make it work. You know. Yeah. It's a blessing. And when we ask for God to answer our prayers, I want this. I want this. Make it happen for me. And then it happens. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can start complaining that the work is too much. If that, that's what makes sense. All right. So let's talk about um, you know photography. I've seen a lot of um, photography photographers that don't like to even see the camera. They don't like to see themselves <laughs> in front of the camera. But you transitioned into a whole lot of other things, you know, becoming a musician, you know, being one of the biggest actors in Nigeria. Was photography your way of getting into the camera space yourself? Um, I think that's a very good question. I think that when I... Um, when I moved back to Nigeria initially, I went to, to school in the UK and when I moved back here, mm -hmm. I didn't know, I, I wanted to do a whole lot of things. I wanted to do music and I wanted to be an actor and I wanted to be a photographer because I had a passion for all of these things. And I didn't sort, I was just sort of trying to figure out how do I get into all of these things, right? Mm -hmm. Photography was the easiest for me to get into because I remember at the time, all I did was I literally just bought all the magazines I could find. Mm -hmm. I started to call them up and, um, you know, book appointments. I showed them my portfolio mm -hmm. and that sort of took off, mm -hmm. took off. And so that was... Um, I didn't say, okay, I'm going to try to get into it. I was just, I was just trying my luck, to be honest. Wow. When I moved back, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to get into the film industry. I just had no clue how, how I eventually got in. My friend randomly told me about this audition that I went for. It was just completely random because she knew that I, I, I had won yeah. it too, but it was completely random. Photography was a more deliberate sort of attempt because of how I said I just, okay, how do I sort of, okay, let me call these guys up and let me show them what I can do. And that really, really um, picked up at the time. So um, it wasn't really planned to, oh, that's how I'm going to get in. I was just kind of, really, let me just try whatever, also, whatever also, works. Yeah, spirit, pretty much. So, yeah. yeah. And you know what's so funny? I think that starting as a photographer kind of made it difficult for me mm. because my photography career really took off and I was quite um, successful at it. I'm quite popular for it. So when I wanted to do other things, it was so hard for them to take me seriously, you know? 
mm -hmm. wanted to be an actor and all these things, I would hear things like, ah, you know, ah, your photography is good. Dude. Maybe you should mm -hmm. focus Maybe you should on that one. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you know, like what um, happened with Kanye West? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it's 2022, and today you're celebrated for doing multiple things. But um, just a few years ago, you weren't. Just Why? a few years ago, they would say, yeah, something of Kanye master of now, and you should pick one. Mm -hmm. yeah, you confuse yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, and I remember at the time I was saying that what is there's nothing confusing, you know, if I sing or if I act, if I exactly. take pictures. I don't think there's anything confusing about it. Okay. So I stuck to my guns and decided to just sort of, you know, striving for the things that I love to do. And here I am today. I'm of very, course. very glad that <laughs> of I course. very glad that I didn't listen and um, because there are times that I considered sort of giving up on other things mm -hmm. and just sort of focusing on photography. And you know when things are very difficult, so you, when you have those low days, you're just like, is this thing ever going to happen, happen for me? Yeah. This one yeah. is okay. Maybe, I, maybe I really <laughs> should <laughs> just stick to this. You yeah. see what I mean? But I mean, I think the best thing I ever did was, you know, bet on myself. All right. We're, we're, we're All right, so I learned, you know, a few choreography steps. You're fair to a wobble or not. Hey, <laughs> you're fair to <laughs> And of course, I'm going to okay. put you on the spot because okay. everybody knows Tony Thomas for photography, you know. So a little bit of music in there, and, you know, yes, but, you know, people haven't. I want to check your views. I said for a big star like this, you have just 348k, which is actually big though yeah, on right? what you want to take your own work on um, one of your music videos and okay. i'm like yeah I it should be like four million by now because it's tony tones <laughs> yeah, right you, so you know how, yeah go on sorry all uh, right no no uh, so people don't know that side of you yeah. so i'm gonna put you on the spot and tony tones has to sing for us on this table oh, oh my god i know you're exhausted <laughs> but you're gonna have to stress okay, it okay, that's the okay, lifestyle okay, of okay, a star what 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 is this that you want me to say to anything think? just think anything we just want to hear like your amazing I'm voice i'm too so exhausted my god like you're gonna have to do it though. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, it could be an original single, song, yeah. it could be an artist you like, it could be yeah. anything. I think I personally From want yeah, a song. Song. Like, um, I'm sitting here thinking, when I tell you that my brain is completely <laughs> blank. So What's, your favorite, so, What's your favorite so song? What's your favorite song? I'm so tired. What's your favorite song? Uh, me, I like trap music. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's trap right now. Let's trap right now. What's your yeah, favorite yeah, trap song? I like trap music. What's your favorite trap song? That is the best thing to sing. Um, I don't know. I like anything by Drake, to be fair. All right, um, so let's do a Drake song. Let's just go real quick. Hey, Drake is a rapper. And it's real long. What type of... <laughs> okay, I don't know. Let me sing something by... I don't know. I think this is just so mean because... Of... <laughs> let, me sing, let me sing something by... Um... um... Jenny Icon. All right, yes, amazing. Let's go. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. Come again. If you do not say it down, then sorry, I've completely forgotten the lyrics. Oh, no, no. Wait, yeah. no, no, no. Let me redeem myself. She's gonna get it. She's gonna get it. If you're gonna say it, come again. If you can't say it, then it's not it. Like What's the chorus like of, the chorus of the song? I love me. No, no, no. no. I love you. Um, you know, I love me yeah, enough. Yeah, the way you know what you've done to me. I don't know. I don't know. I should not have agreed to this. Yes, no. Yes, <laughs> no. Yes, 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 no. This song is called Say, but you're the worst, you know what you've done to me. And I okay, know it okay. hurts, I know. No. Oh. I love that song. Why can I play it? Okay, okay. You're, you're saying I'm forgiving. Okay, you're saying I'm forgiving because I, I can't true. remember myself. Okay, okay. 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 Like, no, personally, yeah. yeah. I, I know I know. we're trying to be professional and everything, but I am a diehard fan. I have followed your journey. I have followed... I have. Um, read um listen to your interviews and everything and how you're talking about your story in nollywood how, um, coming out to the limelight how people see the glory and not the story they don't know what and everything and i also um um i think i listened to an interview where you were talking about how you wanted when you auditioned for the role of king of boys you wanted um, Ye um kemi's part and everything you didn't mm. get it so you felt very um mm. sad and whatnot it wasn't the role you were expecting and yada yada now so my question for you is, looking back at the young Tony before the fame and everything, what would you have said to her? What are you going to say to her now? And the girls that look up to you, that idolize you, that idolize you, what advice would you give to them? What would you say to them? Um, I would have told her to just, um, but I think she did it anyway. I would have told her to just, you know, keep going. 
never stop believing. It's one of those days that the world is trying to make you believe that you're crazy and you're not good enough. Uh, you push through uh, and you uh. keep going. That's what I would say. And just to anyone else who has a dream, to anyone else who, you know, um, just you just really, really never have to stop believing yourself because the world is set up to tell you that, you know, Word. you're not good enough or you're crazy or it's not going to work. It's just really other people's insecurities, right? Wow. If, if other people think they can't do it, so they think, how dare you think you might be able to do it? You Word. Need to, you need to be able to drown out all of that noise Life. and bet on yourself every single time. Everyone who has ever been successful at anything, it's just because they bet on themselves. Life. How is the pressure Literally. in the industry? Because I know it can come easy, especially for a female. Um, it depends what sort of pressure are you talking about. Like pressure of, okay, for example, oh, you're not as good as this, or you have to measure up to this, or oh, you're just starting, or you're upcoming, or, you know, different ways. Or for example, uh, the popular um, pressure I know most act uh, actresses talk about is, oh, their skin, or how they're not fair, or how they're um, being, so, um, how would I put it, stereotypes here, yeah, mm. to a particular type of shape or body or something. And yeah, basically the pressure in total. Um, I think that in terms of colour, I know when I started, I was definitely giving advice to sort of lighten my skin. Yeah, yeah. I, I just really laughed at that. I mean, I was like, please, you know. And, and now we're in this melanin era. So, I mean, um, I, I'm, in terms of pressure to be something else mm -hmm. or whatever, for me, I've always been, I think I, from the moment I decided to go for the things I wanted to do, mm. I had to get to that point where I was able to really block out the noise because the hardest part for me was trying, was starting, was mm. attempting to, let me try and see if I can actually do this, you know, that was the hardest part for me. To get to that point to do it, I had to get to a point where I could block out all the, all the noise oh, and really yeah. focus on my goal and what it is I wanted to do. So I had already gone to a point where I could just focus on the positives and drown out the negatives. Mm -hmm. I cut off anyone literally for a time who was anybody who was Training. not fueling my, yeah, yeah. my flames, yeah. anybody who was, because I had my own fears already. So I was, I caught off anyone who was trying to flame the, the, who was trying to find the flames of my fears. Do you see what oh. I mean? I cut that out. So I don't really, I've never really succumbed to any sort of pressure. I've always just been focused on what I wanted to do. In terms of films, oh. for me, it's never been about the amount of films or acting just for the sake of it. Wow. I've always just wanted to be, you know, I've always wanted to be a part of greatness. I've always, looked for great projects, even when I was in it, but even before I started, I uh, would get scripts and think, no, 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 this role is not really making sense to me. Not because, because for me, it's, it's, it's greater than just being able to say that I'm an actor. It's greater than just being able to say, go and watch that, I'm in it. No, I am so passionate about what, what I do, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm, I'm so good at what I do as well. And I wanted that to be able to really come across. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. For me, it's quality over quantity every time. Preach. Oh, wow. You know, so I wanted to, I, and projects like King of Boys, mm. projects like Brotherhood, they don't come around all the time. All the time. They, they really don't. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? So I feel like I've really been blessed to be able to be part of such groundbreaking pro um, projects. I think God has just really blessed me and God has just really been faithful Definitely. to me. You know, I'm, I'm a very sort of spiritual person. I put God first in everything. And I think that also for me, being able to put, on, put in the work, because I do put in the work. Um, yeah, definitely. For, for this, being able to put in the work, being able to believe in myself and trust that I'm doing everything I need to do. I'm putting in the work for, um, for, for what I do. I'm meeting God um, halfway. And trusting that, you know, um, people will see this, my work will speak for itself, and everything that, you know, is supposed to happen will happen all align. Of course. You know, that's all you can really do. You can, you know, do the best that you can. Wow. I think that the best piece of advice I've ever gotten from anyone was, you know, never let anyone say that you didn't show up for your part. Mm. You just do the part. Just do your part. Your Regardless. Yeah. Just yeah. do your part. Never play your position. Exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, leave the, leave the rest to God and leave the rest, uh, rest so to the world. So there was a time in your life when you were just Antonia Day for you, right? <laughs> and um, yes, I'm sure you're like, why is this guy calling me by my government name? Baby Sola, actually. Antonia is Yeah, Baby Sola, you know. So, you know, there was a time in your life when you were just that regular girl and you know what's that thing that you wish you could relieve right now you know th mm. the things that tony tones can't do anymore you know that baby sola could do I, I i don't i don't know that there's anything that i can't do um i'm there's nothing i can do anything i don't really have a problem with going anywhere going anywhere i'm running into fans or anything like that oh. you know it comes with the territory i used to okay so um, if i say let's throw down go and buy what going on <laughs> You, you with me. I mean, I, <laughs> I, 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 
I've never been one to go and buy a Bahagoya at the bus stop in the, in the first place. <laughs> so maybe that's not relatable for me. But I mean, anything that I could do before, I would do. Max, sometimes um, I will wear a hat, glasses, and maybe a mask. Sometimes mm. when you're just, because sometimes you're really just not, you're really just not in the mood to kind right. of, you just want to get in yeah. and guest house. Or, um... Sometimes, you know, you look at me. Sometimes I don't feel like <laughs> putty. I just <laughs> want to go out looking ragged. They quickly bite yeah. everything. Yeah. So yeah. I hop yeah. back in. So you know, they're just like, oh, yeah, that's like, cool. I do <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm also the sort of person that will go into the cinema on my own. I'll go mm. and watch it. It's a film I really want to watch. I don't want distractions. So I True. want to go and watch it by myself. So I'll put the hat on glasses and I'll put a mask on. I'll just I kind of... still don't recognize you. Um, they do actually <laughs> exactly because it's not it was really <laughs> funny. I always go why. I, I think in my mind I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, even if you wore a glasses, hat, and, 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 and mask, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> do you do? I'm like, really? How how are you doing this? I'm sitting my nose. What are you talking about? Um, anyway, let's, let's, yeah. let's talk about brotherhood. Yes, of mm. course. That is something that I know must have been challenging for you. Mm. You know, that's a role that you know I saw you in another element entirely. Mm. My favorite thing is you. They look my when I did dance. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite line. You get me? And I'm like, but that thing was totally amazing. And I saw it deep for you, you know, with the guns, with the guns, with all of that, with all, you know, like, I feel like that must have been physically exhausting, uh, not just, you know, you, that one wasn't brain work, that one wasn't, I'm a good actress, that one was, it had to, you yeah. had to put in work. How did that change you and what lessons did you take away from Brotherhood? I think that. I think that everything that concerns acting concerns acting. I don't think that there's anything that doesn't concern acting, even when you're not speaking. Um, mm. A lot of most of acting is actually non-verbal. Um, mm. Lots of it is done when you're not even it's talking. Mm -hmm. um, for me, uh, first thing I would say is that for Brotherhood, I've been wanting to do action for a very long time. Oh, oh, yeah. So when this came along, I was like, "Hey, thank yeah. you." Jesus. Hey. Yeah, I, did, I didn't yeah, expect uh, it. Hollywood is college. <laughs> Uh, dying, you know, my, my dream role is to play like a, a superhero, like a mm -hmm. Marvel superhero. Mm. So for me, I was really excited. And it's going to happen for yeah. real, right? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You know, so I was really excited when this dropped in my lap. I was really excited when Jaddy called me, Jaddy, as you very to yeah. producer. And for me, I was just like, okay, let me, let me, what I do for every character, I break it down, analyze it, you know, how do I want to approach this? Mm -hmm. For me, action stars have always been like really le lean and toned. So mm. the first thing I was going to do was, like, okay, I'm going to make sure that I'm as lean as, as mm. toned as possible. So I really cut down for that role. If you watch Brotherhood, I'm quite tiny on there. Yeah, like honestly, yeah. I was really yeah. tiny. I was yeah. like a stick. I lost about 35 pounds to play Goldie up to my workout routine. So I'm really toned. I'm really lean. Um, and then Goldie is quite street, um, mm -hmm. isn't she? Very isn't street, really? actually. <laughs> Sounds completely different for me. Moves completely different. And it was really, I, I had so, so much fun. So that girl that was going to buy the award going from the <laughs> 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 That's standard. Yeah. Yeah. She's girl that was going to buy the award going. She was going to buy the award going. Yes, One time, <laughs> that, you know. Um, so it was so much fun, I think, getting into that frame of mind, getting into that space. I had so much fun playing her. And then, of course, the action scenes. Mm. Oh the action goodness. scenes were absolutely amazing. I had... So many injuries, I had so many bruises, I was bruised all over because it was very physically challenging, challenging. challenging. but um, it was just so much fun. I loved the experience so much, you know, yeah. um, I got to do my stunts as well. So that's that. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. Did you exactly. ride the bike? So, I'm, so you see the bike, I'm on Toby, Toby's riding the bike, we're really on third main land bridge. He's riding the bike, I'm sitting across, across him, him oh. and he's really driving and I'm really across and I'm really, and I'm really with the guns, oh. I'm sh shooting, do you see what I mean? So those stunts were real. We were really doing the I'm cars driving. Oh, yeah. I don't think Lally I would want to try it. So, you know, but the, but, the, but the money must have been good now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know not bad. Well, honestly, yeah, honestly, there's a difference between acting and embodying a role. Personally speaking, I want to ask, this one is for King of Boys, rather. Now, how do you mentally, physically, psychologically prepare yourself for that role? Because it's one thing, okay, when I was watching the interview and whatnot, you, had, you were talking about how you had to um, become in your life, you had to work like her, you had to speak like her, you had to study her and everything. So how do you mentally prepare? Because it's not everybody that can do it and nail it, yeah. okay, and murder it completely. So how do you mentally prepare yourself, both um, in terms of acting and in terms of, like you, you spoke about um, how you had to um, reduce, you had to lose weight rather, and you had, how do you mentally prepare yourself for that? Oh, God, there's that there. But whenever I decide to make all these drastic decisions, I'm just like, <sighs> <laughs> why do I like to punish myself? Who's sending me all this work? But for me, I think uh, 
I'm just possibly obsessed with what I do. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm a really huge perfectionist mm -hmm. just by nature. So if I sit down and I decide, and I just decide to make choices, what do I think is best for this character? Mm -hmm. If I decide that I think something is best for it, then it's like done. I don't even if I'm like I don't want to do it. I think my body will sort of I was sort of going mm. to sort of automatic automatic mode. It kind of works. Mm. So yeah. for young Anyala, um, those choices were actually easier to make because I was following a blueprint. I was mm. the younger okay. version of someone, mm. right? Fine. So yeah. for me, you it's just had like to a, learn your yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. So for me, it's like you know how do I just how do how do I become this person? And for me, that was it was it was a lot more difficult and it was a lot easier in, in certain ways. It was easier because okay. Um, I'm not picking something from the blue. There's somebody here. I just need to become her. Mm -hmm. I just really need to study her and see how much of a her I can emulate, yeah. right? But then that's really difficult because it really is difficult to sort of become someone else. Oh, I mean, if I wanted to become me to act like you have to study your manners, right. study the way you right. all, all, all your so all the minute details about you have to mm -hmm. sort of study mm -hmm. and then hope that what I'm doing is correct and it comes across mm -hmm. on on camera because mm -hmm. sometimes you're doing something, what you're like, ha. Ah. Is that what I look like? <laughs> what is going on here? And I was doing something completely different in, in my head. That does happen, you right. know. Um, um, so for young Daniela, so I just studied Anshala, and I didn't meet her to that. The first, for the first king of boys, I had never met her to the scene we had together. It was the only time Whoa. we met. So for me, what I did was I studied all, all of her. She had a lot of films on YouTube, luckily, Yoruba films. Mm -hmm. so I, I studied all of that. So I used that to sort of study her mannerisms. I, was, I wouldn't take any other world till then. And I was just focused, focused on that. And then uh, same thing, I was just, for King of Boys, I put on weight because I just thought, I studied her a lot. We have similar features. She has small lips, sort of like mm -hmm. mine. And I just thought, if I fill out a bit, I can possibly, and then okay. sort of try to emulate her mannerisms, I might look more like her. It was mm -hmm. just a risk. You, you could have paid, you could have worked or not worked. It was just a, a risk that I went for as yeah. well. So yeah, I put I put on I put on forty pounds to pay her. That was very difficult because I just think here hey, go this fat. Oh, go fat. Honestly, oh. because I, 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 I think I saw something. I think I saw something. Okay, okay. Of so, you see what okay, I mean. So and the thing is, on. when you do that, when you put on the weight, you have to lose it by the time the movie comes out. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you don't know to show that you don't think this is your normal size now. Judy, you don't think this is your normal size. So if you don't put, if you don't lose it by then, you don't think it's your normal size. They yeah. don't even recognize the work. So I was just like, I have. So it came out, and by between the time we shot and the between the time the film came out, I think it was about eight months. So I was like, okay, I have eight months yeah. to sort of lose the so weight, which I was able to sort of um, do. Not exactly how tiny I was, but, but enough that you could see that. Uh, but <laughs> this is how you look yeah, like, yeah, you get what I mean. So let's talk about the Yoruba part, because, mm. yeah, you brought it up when, when she said True, you had yeah. to learn Yoruba. You know, I didn't talk about music, man. I'm interested in the music <laughs> part of you, but, you know, let's talk about the Yoruba part. Having to learn that, right? <laughs> How um, challenging was that? And then you're going to have to speak, we we'll have to talk to you about, you have to oh tell me you about, you have to answer that question in Yoruba. Okay, so that's a good question. You know what's funny? In part one of King of Boys, Yoruba was very little. There was only a few lines here and there. It wasn't difficult to even, you know. So when they gave us a script for King of Boys 2, the whole thing was in Yoruba. The whole thing. Um, and then here's the kicker. <laughs> and then I was going to get it. Yeah, 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 let's go. And then, and then the whole thing was Yoruba. And the thing is, it wasn't just, what people have to understand, it wasn't even just normal Yoruba. Yoruba. It was one type of Yoruba. So my, my best friend and my mom used to make fun of my Yoruba in part one. They're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see some help. So they're like, when the next one will help you. So when I got the script, I was like, oh, mom's script is here. Oh. Take, yeah, come and help me. So my mom, she was like, so he can't help you there. She was like, I don't know. This year, by took off. Like, too it wasn't just like, it, it was, was like, deep. yeah, it was like, mm. she was like, she couldn't. She was like, sorry, but I honestly cannot read this. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> My best friend, too, sent her the script. She was in London. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on, start. Let's start. She was like, ah. No, you already said she was in London. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, ah. She was like, Tony, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't understand what's on this paper. But luckily, I think they knew that, you know, the era was so crazy. We had, uh, we had a translator, we had a tutor, which was Kemeli Siva's dad. So he, he even uh, actually got a, few, got a few lessons. But Kemeli Siva's dad, so he worked with me, so we would go over, go over script over and over again. In fact, at a point, because I was so tired of disturbing him, I was like, you know what, can we just say, so I had him say all the lines, uh, and I recorded every single thing oh, as a voice right. note. So oh. that was all I all used right, so to learn. so let's do a quick That's monologue. what I used to learn every day. Oh, no, no way. <laughs> no, I can't even remember. I can't even remember. I crammed most of it. Yeah, and because yeah. it's and because it's, your mind, because it's, it's something that I crammed. So a lot of the time, I crammed a lot of the time. And let me put it this way. So I'm cramming most of the Yoruba because I don't understand it. Right? So I'm having to cram it. Exactly. I also don't understand what Antishola is saying half the time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 
Mas você vai usar o negócio que 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 você vai usar You see this round table scene you're talking about? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, Timmy, I have an idea. Why don't I say it in English? English. <laughs> I thought I was saying it in Yoruba. Then you go back up and she's yes. like, oh, It's not gonna. I want to do it. I was just like, I was like, I was like, no problem. I had no problem. Because you don't tell you that you can't do it. You can't do it. No problem. When I drop, I was like, God. Because you make it look so easy. So you coming out on top because me, we looking at you and you making it look so easy and everything. Now you telling us that no, it wasn't actually easy. It was actually difficult. It was very difficult. Oh my goodness. There's a message. So at the end, when 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 we were done, I think the day that it came out, or was it at the end? I don't remember. I think it was at the end. Kemaditiva sends me a message. She sends me a WhatsApp, a screen much message from her dad and he had sent her that you know when we first started when i first started working with tony i was very nervous about right. this girl's ability to deliver because you know, yeah, obviously yeah, she's yeah, like so the so. but he was like so on the on the last day on our last day of shooting when i called mm -hmm. him i ran it by he was like but i'm so impressed as in she has done a complete 360 like he was just like and i was just like oh my god and i remember right. crying when i read that because it was so difficult for me and like i said those scenes i'm trying to remember the one and it, when you're cramming english is easy you know i i when i'm by the time i get on i know what it is i've really i know what the scene is you can change it to anything and i'll flow with it because i have really really embodied because it's english you're about because i'm cramming i know the general meaning of what i'm telling you but i don't really understand what the words i do you understand what i mean right. because i'm cramming because i don't really understand what you're saying it's really like cram what it's really like okay i think i come in here when you will freestyle and mm. i should finish mm. and what did she say is this this one that she has freestyle is this two where i'm supposed There's to say a lot of so it was just it was so <laughs> like it was so yeah. mentally stressful like i tell you the kbt was one of the hardest things i've ever done just because of that extra layer it was i must as well have been speaking french all righty we're <laughs> definitely out of time but you know we want to quickly touch on music do we still do you do you have plans on getting oh yes i definitely do don't worry i'm so i released an ep recently that i haven't pushed because no time it's got tins i love so it's online now right but i'm about to start pushing it expect mm -hmm. expect music videos really really soon right. so for the people who disturb the how far music what's going on um listen to tins i love it's on all platforms mm -hmm. so search for tony tones tins i love and I'm gonna give you visuals really soon. I'll give it the push that it, it deserves. Hey. Remember to call me when you start <laughs> pushing it. No problem. <laughs> but aside from music, yeah. any upcoming I will projects? Do, of course. Um, I do. So, Smart Money season two, we've just shot that. Ooh. So we have that coming. Um, I think that the fans have been calling for that, and they're really going to love it. it. We did. We went bigger. We went better for season two. Of course. Um, <laughs> I have a movie coming out called Jolly Roger. It's been nominated okay. for eight Amas. So expect Ooh. some some greatness there. Yeah. Um, and a few other projects as well. I don't know if I'm at liberty to talk about that, but that's too far. A few other now. projects. It's so, so good. good. It's it's so good. It's three, it's been amazing <laughs> having this conversation <laughs> with you. You've been totally, you know, open, and um, we really appreciate you. I think I like you better now. But yes, yeah. this is where we draw the curtain today. But thanks for watching, as always. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. And remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this very one, and all our exclusive contents by doing what? Subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch Tea Time where on Out to TV and, of course, in London on Ben Television and Star Times Channel 308. A big, 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 big thank you goes out to my studio guest, of course, Tony Tones, ladies and gentlemen, and, of course, my co-anchor, Belma, for, you know, um, intelligent <laughs> contributions, and, of course, the entire production team. I'm talking about Mr. Samson, Kaya Day, Funke Ande, and everybody that's made this production a successful one. And, of course, um, this is Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshike. Let go.